So what I plan on doing today, refresh some of our memories on RPG code and build something very, very simple. And then we will going to take it further and go to its next set of steps. So we're going to be starting again fresh in RDI with something as simple as creating a source physical file. Then we will going to be creating our print file and we're going to be writing an RPG program that talks to a print file. So let's get started. On the library, we create a new source physical file. And we have been sort of kind of using this trend Fall 18 RPG initials, and I'm going to name this one 3, as we already have 1 and 2. The source physical file is where we'll be keeping our members, all of them, compiling them, generating objects. And you can certainly do all of these things in green screen. In green screen, you will going to be creating the source physical file by typing the command CRTSRCPF. Then you go to SEU to write your uh, RPG program and the other uh, print files. Okay, to get started, we're going to create our first member. And we're going to call this one HRPT2, which is my hello report 2. And I need to make sure that RPG LE is the member type change to print file. So you have to make sure that you change the member type to print file. Then you hit finish. Upon hitting finish, you are going to be seeing this kind of an environment and your DDS design mode will be on or it may ask you that it wants to take you to DDS design mode. You go to design reports, and that's where you name your report, okay? So I'm naming my report intro. Upon pressing enter, that becomes the name of the report. So first you go to the design report, you type the name of the report, pressing enter will going to give that name to the report. Then you move on to records. This is where the records are showing if the record is added. Right now we don't have any ad records added, so we're going to bring in a relative record from the right hand side, drag it and drop it, and once we do that it automatically says that the record one is available. You can be changing the name of that record right from the properties down below here, the properties tab. So as soon as you click on the record name and the properties tab is up, that's where you can change it to. I'm calling it heading and pressing enter will let you change the name of the record. So, so far, we made two changes. We changed the name of the report, which we called intro. We changed the name of the record from record one to heading. Where does all this code goes? Behind the scene in the source. We click on the source, and that's where we can see that it has a record heading, which is empty because there is nothing in it. Okay, back to the design. Now we have in our palette a bunch of items. If I want a text to stay on the palette and not change on the report, I mean, I need to grab what we call a text constant. So let me grab a text constant and place it right here. You can change the text on the text constant right from the text property in the properties. Then underneath gateway app, 
I will going to bring in a named field, which is also something that you can find in your palette. Named field. Named fields are used so that you can write RPG code to write into that location in the report. That's where that's why we use named fields. So I'm going to grab my named field and drop it right here underneath the gateway. The name that I'm giving it is message. Total length of message is nine. It's a character type. And in the source, I could see that message was added, size nine, location, and the whole nine yards. Now, so we call this message, and let me increase its length from nine to 50. And as you can see, as I increase it to 50, it just gives me a longer bar. Moving it wherever I want to move it. If I go to source, notice the size is 50 and it starts at column number 16. So if I come to the design, that's where I see him. He's right past 15, starting at column number 16. After that, I save the changes. In order for me to compile the print file, I go to the source and I can compile from the source by clicking compile, compile and create. There are no syntax errors. Go to the commands log, scroll all the way to the bottom and it'll tell you the following object was added to the library. Now the next step would be to create an RPG program which will talk to this report. So you right click on your source physical file to add a new member. I'm going to call this one RPG and the rest of them will going to be the same as the name of my report, which is HRPT2. The member type is RPG, finish. Now I can hit an F4 and start typing here in the full line, or I can choose free form and start typing in the free form code, or I can start typing right here on wherever I am. One of the things I have to keep in mind is through the RPG, I need to talk to that file the print file. Do I declare a variable? I declare somebody of file type. The name of that somebody will be the same as the name of my print file report. I can declare a variable called end of page of type boolean, which is indicator type, initialize it to a value of on. So that's how you can initialize variables. And if I make a mistake, which is a syntax error, I forgot the semicolon, so it tells me right away that I missed a semicolon. If you ever see this block blinking, that means your insert is on. So if you press the insert key on the keyboard, it just goes to the regular cursor type. Insert allows you to overwrite. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is I want to declare a local variable which will help me write to the message, which is my print file variable. So I declare a variable v underscore message exactly like the message which is declared on the print file. So they will share the type, they will share the size. Now, I will going to assign my first value to V underscore message. Welcome to RPG. Then to the message variable, 
I can assign value from for, to the message field. I should assign the value from my message variable. I can directly uh, add assign value to message field, but here I just want to show you how you can transfer a value from a variable to a field. You can directly write to a field as well. Okay. <clears throat> now, what do I need to do after I add a value to field? I need to be able to write the record. Okay. What did I call my record in the print file? Heading. So I will say, now write out the heading to the report. Why do I need to do this? The reason is because the initial state of heading has now changed. It was 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000 or whatever the default was. I changed that with welcome to RPG. Now I want it to be updated. Okay, that's why I want it to be written out. So write operation pretty much allows you to update what is already out there with the changed values. That's why you first change it and then you write it. Okay? Now, after that, we need to turn on these indicators for last record and release all the resources from the RPG program. So this is a very, very simple RPG program, like a Hello World RPG program, which lets you write a message from RPG program onto the report and update the record. Then you compile, compile, create bound RPG. If it comes back with no errors, you check your command log. If it comes back with errors, you then see if you have written everything the way it should be written. And we make a call to this RPG program. So call the name of the RPG program, which is RPG HRPT2. That's the name of my RPG program. And then you press enter. If it clears out, and nothing comes back that means it was submitted to batch and you need to check your spool file for the output so then you go to work spool file enter press and hold shift f6 that will drop you to the bottom of the list now notice the very last line what does it say is in file the name of the report what does it say is in user data the name of the rpg program that ran the report Okay, so those are the two distinctions to keep in mind. We are opening the report, not the program. Program only ran the report, and who was the author? Yusuf S. Which Q was this added to? Yusuf Q. That was the Q it is added to. It is ready to be viewed. The report has only one page, and there's a single copy of the report sitting in the memory. So I go to the report, and I press option five and press enter, which is for display. And now I am sitting behind the scene looking at the output. <laughs>